Uh, Jonah Dillon, commercial appeal here in Memphis. Just the opportunity to, to be to win Nebraska's first NCAA tournament game. Is that something you guys are thinking about heading into this one? Yeah, most definitely. Obviously, going into the season, um, it's a big goal to be here. Um, and you know that Nebraska's never won an uh, NCAA tournament game. But now to actually be here and be in, the, uh, be in this position and have this opportunity, um, just super excited to, to go out there and hopefully write some, some history. Up front. Robin Wash with HuskerOnline.com. Uh, Bryce, the A&M players, and, and Coach Buzz Williams was talking about you guys' scouting report of, of what they thought of you guys, and they used pretty and just talked about the offense. What, what have been your impressions of A&M now that you've gotten some time to look at them, and, and what jumps out about their strengths and weaknesses? Um, they're just an aggressive team. Um, I wouldn't really say anything special about them. You know, they just have their identity of being of trying to out-tub the opponent, and that's that's been the emphasis this week. You know, we just can't get punked, and we're just gonna focus on that. Over here, uh, Madden Field Action News Five here at Memphis. Uh, for either one of you, Kase has obviously taken the college basketball world by storm over the last couple of weeks. I'm not sure if either one of you buy into. Japanese Steph Curry hype, but what's it like to play alongside him? And do you guys have an anecdote of something amazing he's done in practice or a game that's really stood out? I will start with Rink, and you guys can both take that one. Um, it's obviously special to, to play with somebody that draws in this this type of hype and this type of excitement around himself. Um, he draws a lot of attention on the court, with, which uh, makes it a little bit easier for us to play. I know for myself, I, I definitely look for him and try, and try and feed him the ball whenever I can during the game. Um, but it's been pretty special to have him, uh, like, ha have him on our team this year. Um, like an anecdote for, our, um, I mean, he, he was over the summer. He was with his national team, but one of the first practices that he was back, we were playing a little five on five, and it was three possessions in a row. First one, he hit a just a normal three, and then like when you hit, let him hit one three, he gets gets on fire like right away. So then he hit a step back three and then um right the next possession he got switched uh the five switched out on him and he just took him one on one and hit another step back three like three possessions in a row and like that was the first time that i really saw what type of player he was in person and i mean he's he's been special this year rice um the stuff y'all see out there on the court on games like that's definitely crazy and like rink said he's definitely like a guy who can heat up just by making one shot but the stuff he does after practice or after shoot arounds when he's like hitting um, turnaround half court shots, but uh, like, uh, <laughs> like he'll turn around, he won't look at the basket, he'll just throw it. Him and Rink will do it every time after shoot around. Yeah, right. But K State makes him on a regular, <laughs> and it's, it's just crazy the stuff he does off camera. The center? Uh, Joseph Meyer, Dale Nebraskan. Uh, both of you guys transferred in for this moment. You've set this goal ahead of you at the beginning of the season, but now that you're here, What's, how cool is it to be in this spectacle and, and be in March Madness and, and see the city and, and all the hype around it? Um, it's new. Um, it's exciting. Like you said, it's, what we, it's the goal that we set out to do before uh, when we transferred here. But um, at the same time, we came, we wanted to win here. We didn't want to just, you know, be here. So while we're excited, I think we're both just trying to, you know what I'm saying, write history, uh, put, our, put our name down in history with Nebraska and then just make a run. Yeah, we're, we're not here just for one game. Um, everybody will say that. Um, if you ask the Texas A&M players, they'll also say we're not here for just one game. But um, obviously excited to be here, but uh, we don't want to be here just for one day. We want to extend this journey a little bit longer. To our right. Teresa Walker with the Associated Press. Uh, how unique is it that, I mean, you've been around Tominaga, but to, to know that this game is being live streamed in Japan uh, and, and to, to get that kind of reach, uh, does, does that, is it fun? Do you have some family members who, you know, in parts of the world that may be able to watch this game because of him that, that otherwise would not have been able to, they'd have been checking an app trying to keep up with the game? Yeah, I don't have any family in Japan or anything, but, you know, it's just crazy that one guy can draw so much attention um, nationally, worldwide, like one, like it just shows that the game can bring everybody together. But um, I mean, it's just cool. I mean, it's cool that everybody over there can see him play and support him. Uh, he's kind of a celebrity over there, I heard. So, I mean, it's all, it's all, it's all necessary. To our left. Hey, Rink, Bryce, um, Steve Mark with Rivals. I'm just wondering about, we talked to you guys on Sunday and we asked you, um, you know, how big of an impact Fred can have 
now that you've had some preparation, some practices going into this game, you know, he's played in the NCAA tournament, he's coached in it. Just what kind of help has uh, friend Fred been during this process? Um, just mainly exp uh, kind of explaining to us like how um, to stay poised during during games. Like these games, most of them will come down to the wire to be one possession games. And what we've talked about is just staying poised, staying level-headed and uh, not get too sped up or too nervous or excited or whatever, just staying level-headed and staying in the moment. Up front, left side. For both you guys, uh, Robin Walsh, Husker Online, uh, you've only been at Nebraska for one season and played with Coach Hoiberg for you know less than a year now, but, but what kind of impact has he had on your development, not only getting you ready for this season, but preparing you for the next level? Um, one thing he's done for me is just instilling confidence in me. I'm um, obviously playing a new position that I've never played before at point guard, um, kind of running the show. And whether I make a mistake, whether I, whether I make multiple mistakes, he's always just showed that he has confidence in me and that I, that helps me have confidence in myself. Um, he's given me freedom to you know make mistakes and learn um, while pumping me up um, behind the scenes. So um, just having confidence in myself and my game, and I feel like that's just propelled me forward. Yeah, just um, obviously he's played, he's played and coached at the next level, and especially the coaching aspect of um, how he approaches a game. Uh, he still, I, I believe, he still approaches the game the same way when he was coaching the Bulls as he is approaching the game now. Just to, so just to learn from him, kind of how it goes on in the at the professional level and um, how preparations go, and um, just learning a lot of how he looks at X's and O's of the game, like just his basketball IQ is enormous and learning from him has been really good. All right, our next three will come from the left. One, two, and then three up here. Go ahead. Hey guys, Rachel Fields with ABC 24 here in Memphis. I know you're probably overhearing this stat, but you're the only Power 5 team to have not won a game in a tournament. Is that something you guys talk about often? How do you work through that? And, and what's the motivation to go and win this to get that kind of monkey off the back? We've talked about it multiple times. We've talked about it a lot, um, kind of just to go along with our season. First, it started with the road games. Then once we started, once it started coming down to the wire, we started talking about, we, yo, we never won. But everybody talks about how we have a special group. And we don't want to just be like some people talk about. We want to kind of, we definitely want to get the monkey off our back and win our first one. But like I said, we, we just want to <laughs> make a run. We just want to make a run. Yeah, obviously everybody's aware, but um... Like you can't uh, let it define us too much. Like you can't go into the game and oh, this is like the opportunity of a lifetime. Let's like, obviously it's a high pressure game, but it, it, we can't be thinking too much about oh, um, we've never won a game here. It's just all right. This is one game that we have to win, and we can't be uh, too caught up in in the history of it all. We just gotta focus in on the moment. All right, we're in our last five minutes. Go to the back. Yeah, to boss up, boss up with you. Uh, oh, this is Yoko Miyagi from Sports Graphic Number Japan. Uh, there are like many great shooters these days, but what people say about Keisei is kind of different. They, are, they say like uh, best show on the TV or uh, fun to watch or the, uh, what, why do you think Keisei is that kind of player? Rink? He's very, um unassuming. He's 6'2", not too athletic, but when he goes out on the court, he, he plays with a type of swagger and a type of attitude that is almost unmatched. And the way he shoots the ball, like he, uh, how Fred teaches us to shoot with like holding your follow through and sticking to your shot and all that, like it doesn't really matter for him as long as it gets out of his hands clean and he gets a, gets a somewhat decent look, you know that that thing is going in more times than not. And um, that's something I personally have never seen other than with Casey. Bryce? Probably the degree of difficulty. Um, none of his shots are open. None of his shots are like wide open. Um, they're all like usually fading away or, you know, super, super quick release. But I'd probably just say the degree of difficulty and how much he makes those difficult shots, how often, yeah. Right here? Bryce, coming off the Big Ten tournament and your strong performance in that one-and-done environment, how does that impact your confidence coming into a similar situation, but obviously higher stakes? Um, the pressure was definitely on, and 
you know, in those games, it, it was a it was a lot of different it was a lot of different crowds. It was a lot of different people rooting for you. A lot of different people rooting against you. But um, heading into the tournament now, you know, that was in a neutral site, and we were so basically on the road. Um, we, and we all we had was ourselves pretty much. Um, and for us to play how we did, I know we gave up the last one with Illinois, but we still played pretty good. We looked we looked at one another and played for one another, and that was good heading into the tournament now. Um, where everything's a neutral site again, so it was encouraging. Any other questions? Time for one more, if there is. All right, not seeing that. We will let these student athletes get ready for practice, guys. Thank you. And good luck tomorrow. Thank you.